Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm Micah from Coaster Frenzy, and today I'm going to be counting down my top 10 bucket list coasters in America. These are the 10 coasters in America I want to get around to the most and the fastest. These are all great coasters. An honorable mention is Superman the Ride at Six Flags New England. Didn't quite make the cut, but it still looks like an amazing ride, and I definitely want to ride it one day. But anyways, let's just get right into this countdown. So, coming right in at number 10 is a coaster that has caused some controversy recently. However, it still looks amazing in my opinion. This is Lightning Run at Kentucky Kingdom. Wow. I've heard so many great things about this coaster, about how the drop just ejects you out of your seat. All the ejector airtime is just insanity. I heard it's really intense for its size. And honestly, this could possibly be the best coaster at Kentucky Kingdom. Now, you know, Storm Chaser has potential to beat it, in my opinion. However, I just really love Ejector Airtime, and I heard this coaster gives so much that it's almost out of this world, and that's why I love it so much. Alright, coming in at number 9 is a coaster I've wanted to ride for a while now. This is Wicked Cyclone at Six Flags New England. I've heard so many good things about this coaster, how it's super smooth, the Ejector Airtime is insane, how the inversions just whip you into them, and they're so much fun. And overall, this coaster looks like a fantastic ride. Um, I think it has potential to be one of the best rides in the world. Um, definitely one of the best steel coasters in the world due to its insane amount of airtime and very intense transitions. And it's compact layout also. Alright, number 8 is a coaster I've always wanted to ride since day 1. This is Cannibal at Lagoon. A lot of enthusiasts I've talked to have said this coaster is forceless or it's just not that good. However, I don't agree. I think this coaster looks amazing. Um, the lagoon roll at the end is awesome. The drop is humongous. The hang time looks insane. And this overall looks like a fantastic coaster. And I just cannot wait to ride this. Number seven is a coaster that I've never really had... Um, thoughts on riding a lot but recently i have this is twisted colossus at six flags magic mountain possibly one of the better rmc's out there um i think it's right in the middle um you know not as good as some of the large ones but not as bad as some of the smaller ones however there really isn't a bad rmc but i just love the dueling ads aspect i love the airtime and the inversions um it overall looks like a really just fun ride and potentially the best at magic mountain Number six is a coaster I've wanted to ride for so long, and I think it's the best at its park. This is Maverick at Cedar Point. This coaster has the whole package. It has a launch. It has a cool drop. It has insane bank turns, a lot of airtime, inversions. It's just twisting and turning all over the place, and it is possibly one of the best steel coasters in the world, in my opinion. A lot of people compare this to stuff like Helix or iSpeed or Terran, and I think this is the best out of all three of those, just because of its insane compact layout. But coming in at number five is a coaster that I don't think is even close to one of the best, King to Ka. But the reason I want to ride it so bad is because it's the tallest coaster in the world and also the second fastest. And I've always wanted to ride this thing because it is one of the most iconic coasters on the planet, and I've always just heard so many bad things about it. And you'd think, why would that make me want to ride it? I just really want to experience its launch and the humongous drop. I mean, it's the tallest coaster in the world, and I really want to experience that and be able to say that I've ridden it. Number four is also an amazing coaster that I've wanted to ride for a while. This is Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. I've heard so many good things about this and some mediocre comments, but overall it's mostly good. And I think that's because part of the reason is because this year it's just been hauling really hard. Um, the two inversions at the end, the double barrel roll, just looks so insane. I heard it's so intense and it just feels like it's non-stop action straight until the end. And I heard it actually has some pretty good airtime too, so that really makes me excited for this ride. Overall, looking like one of the best wooden coasters out there. All right, number three is a coaster that is so unreliable. This is Lightning Rod at Dollywood. Always breaking down, and this is a lot of people's bucket number one bucket list coaster because of the fact that it always breaks down. However, they're getting better at it. Um, but the quad down just looks insane. The launch is cool. I love how insane its um, layout is, and the way it interacts with the terrain is just so good. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, terrain coasters on the entire planet. Alright, coming in at number two is a coaster I've been a fan of for quite a while. 
This is the voyage at Holiday World. It currently has more airtime than any other coaster on the planet. I think it's like over 25 seconds or something like that. But it's a really long ride, and near the end it gets super intense. And there's this part where it hits a mid-course brake run in a tunnel, and it just looks like it starts picking up speed again. Like, it just seems to go really fast. It, it's almost as if there were a launch in there, but I know there isn't, but that would be pretty cool. Um, overall, this coaster's bank turns are also insane, and it just looks so fun. Alright, coming in at number one, the reason I want to ride this the most is because it has caused so much controversy in the coaster community for the past 15 or so years. This is Millennium Force. People say it's the most overrated coaster, people say it's the most underrated coaster, and a lot of people think it's the best in the world, so I honestly don't know what to think of it at this point. But that's why I want to ride it so much, so I can find out if it is truly the best if it is truly the most overrated, or if it's just, you know, a really good coaster. And I'm going to go with the third option. I think it's a really good coaster, um, possibly top 25 in the world. It depends if the airtime is really good and it's actually intense. However, a lot of people give this coaster the nickname Millennium Forceless, uh, referencing to how forceless it is. So that kind of bothers me. I really like intense coasters. However, this coaster still looks really good and I can't wait to ride it. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Post comments down in the section below. What are your bucket list coasters? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, coaster fans, I will see you later.